Hi everyone, Brenda Gustin here, and we're in week six. We're going to be talking about microbial metabolism. Before I go any further, I wanted to mention a little bit about week five. We had exam number one and we had lab practical number one. The, I'm making this video on Friday before week six starts, and not everybody has taken exam number one and practical number one, so I don't really want to say um, a lot about them. I'll talk about them when we get to the next video. Um, remember that those assignments, there are things that I had to grade by hand, so I try to do that on Mondays um, after the due date, and also, and so that should help your grade, and also, um, the if you want to look at, to see what you got wrong, the two minutes after the due date, so our due dates are always Sunday at 11.59 p.m., if you go Monday at 12.01 a.m., you'll be able to access your, your graded, um, your, your questions that were graded wrong and the answers that you got. So um, you can go look at those after the due date. So I'll talk a little bit more about those in week seven video. Meanwhile, we're gonna be doing microbial metabolism. And I must say students do find microbial metabolism to be a challenging topic. And there's a lot of parts and there's a lot of details. And what I try to do is I try to pull together the essential details to make a big picture. And what I'm trying to show you is how is um, microbial metabolism different than metabolism you might have learned in AMP, glycolysis, Krebs, electron transport. And so I'm looking for the big picture. And um, really, if you hang in there with me, I think that you'll, you'll see my big take home messages by the end. Um, you'll notice the lecture study guide, there's some diagrams of some of these pathways. And so you can take your notes right on those pictures because those can be really helpful in understanding rather than just writing all words. In addition, by the end of the lecture study guide, there is something that I call um, bacterial metabolism mega matching. And the mega matching is a really good summary of the take home messages in microbial metabolism. So I highly recommend doing the, the um, filling out the questions in the lecture study guide. I think it can help a lot. But if you don't understand things, let me know. I'm glad to talk about them. So here we are, our video is gonna go there. There's your lecture study guide. You wanna print that out. I highly recommend that you use the lecture videos this week. The um, textbook has a lot of information, but it has a lot more information than what you're going to need to understand this. So um, I highly recommend going through these lecture videos, and that should help you get through um, the content and metabolism. There is an adaptive learning lecture assignment, just like we have for every other week, and um, a lab handout. And then um, within the lab handout, there are no virtual labs this week. But there are um, there is one link to a lab assignment, and then there's also a lab quiz. So this week we just have ten points worth of um, lab points. Well, most of the labs we have a little bit more than that, usually fifteen. But you should be in good shape. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to be helpful. And um, thanks for anybody who tells me when something's wrong or something's not posted or having a hard time getting into something. Hope you guys have a great week. Take care.